Good day everyone. Come and join me and I will share to you how to fix this BWTS flow meter. We have a problem about ballast water a uh, ballast water management system flow meter. Our system is UV system Panacea but they clo uh, called glow and patrol. 750 the flow register 750 but the actual in the flow meter is zero starboard flow meter fail we have an alarm starboard flow meter fail and this is the flow meter they already open this flow meter to check the sensor in the flow meter the reading is zero but the output going to the PLC is 750 we think that the output of this flow meter is the problem it's because the display is zero in the flow meter and the output is 750 I decide to check the signal the signal is 4 to 20 going to the PLC of the BWTS 31 and 32 We need to pull out that cable and then introduce 4 to 20 signal going to the PLC or going to the BWTS system. Remove the cable, the two cable and introduce 4 to 20 milliamps signal. 4 it means 0. Okay, the reading at the HMI is zero. Going to the simulator and then we will introduce 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps is the range, maximum range. Zero to, what is this? 750. It means the output is 750 at 20 milliamps it means the signal going to the PLC is good how about 8 milliamps we will check what is the output the output reading is 188 it's good the important is 0 to 750 that is the range equivalent to 4 to 20 milliamps 4 is 0 750 is 20 milliamps okay the signal is good but the problem is the cartridge cartridge for this flow meter before this one they already open the sensor and there is no no problem about the sensor and the sensor is clean I have here a cartridge for flow meter this is new and this one this is new and then need to check just turn clockwise and before this one uh, we need to turn off the supply then after turning off you can remove the securing bolts for this cartridge then you can remove the cartridge there is a three securing bolts for this cartridge this is the old just plug and play 
but later I will teach you how to change the range for this one because the default range for this cartridge is 0 to 1000 I think but we will check later I will show you in the last part okay secure the bolts for this cartridge and turn on the turn on the supply power supply for this low meter cartridge is initialization stage then that's it we need to wait okay readout is zero it means zero and we will check the actual signal going to the PLC or in the or in the HMI but I show you this other part other system this is the port same the signal is zero the signal is zero going to the PLC that is at the port side but here we already changed new one and then we will check at the HMI at the HMI zero the reading is zero it means the cartridge that we install is good and it gives correct signal to the PLC and then we will check the flow flow rate we will change the setting it's because the setting the default setting is 1800 then this is the instruction how to change the flow rate you need to pause this video so that you can follow you need to change the maximum setting 750 because 750 is the maximum range for our system okay already set then run the BWTS our capacity is 500 but the actual reading is 499 that is good this is the process meter this is the nameplate i hope you learned from it and then don't forget to please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you for supporting us